So today we are taking a look at the awesome Techno Parrot emulator from Windows PC. So I last covered this emulator a good few months ago and since it's had several different updates. So in this setup guide today we're going to look at everything including controller settings, how to add your game, how to update Techno Parrot, and just look at the general settings so you can be playing Techno Parrot arcade games in no time. So check this one out. Okay then, so for our start today's Techno Parrot setup guide for Windows PC, if you've not already done it, hit notification, subscribe and like if you liked today's video, so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just chain me. So we're looking at the Techno Parrot emulator today, and the last one I did this was a good few months ago, so I thought it's time we take a look at updates and actually go through another setup guide of Techno Parrot. So what we're going to do first is head over to the Techno no Parrot official website and the link's going to be in my description and judging from the comments on my last setup guide for this a few months back uh, people will ask me in the comments section uh, so and so is not working particular games aren't working now I'm not going to stress this enough you need to check the compatibility and at the top you've got a little legend uh, so blue means that all these games in the blue status section are going to work flawlessly 100% in fact and underneath it we got green which is great so it's going to run really well but there's going to be some minor imperfections and some little bits of lag i suppose and if we go down to issues unplayable and unknown then if that's the type of games you want to run uh, such as this racing game just here with the orange exclamation mark you know it's unlikely it's going to run at all so you need to have a very good look through this section just here under compatibility and check if your game is actually functioning well with this emulator. So for my setup guide today, I've checked this and my particular game is running fine. So we're going to go to downloads and actually download this. Now once we get to the download section, if you don't have DirectX end user runtimes, then you need to install this and you also need to install Visual C++. If you download the emulator and try and run it and you're not gonna get a picture, then that's likely gonna be your catalyst just there. And it's also suggesting that we download 7-zip in order to extract files. I've already got WinRAR. If you don't have an extraction tool, then get one for this. So we're gonna download the store and that's here. So left click. Now once we get to this part, what we need to do, and I seriously recommend this, is to download the TB Bootstrapper, Technoparrot Bootstrapper. So that's going to include all the updates and all the components. If you go for the legacy release, you'll have to manually download everything. So you may as well just go for a web install for Technoparrot. So just download this one and it literally takes a few seconds to download it. Okay, so once you've downloaded your bootstrapper file, it's actually going to download into a zipped folder. So what I'm going to do is just right click on my desktop, go to new folder, and I'm going to call this folder Techno Parrot. And just drag that .zip in that you've just downloaded into that Techno Parrot folder. And we open up the Techno Parrot folder and inside we're going to extract this zip. So right click on it. And like I said, I'm using WinRAR and just extract here. So if you're using a different extraction tool, it's going to be the same type of thing. So once we've extracted this, we can now delete the .zip that we just downloaded. We no longer need that. Now the next thing you're going to need to do is open up the application just here, which is tbbootstrapper.x. Left click. Pop up user account control. Uh, this app wants to make changes. Just press yes, it's fine. Now the next part you're going to see is a list and it says course available. So this is everything that we need to download and install. So at the top here, we're going to see, please select where you'd like to download Techno Parrot. So I'm going to direct this to that Techno Parrot folder I've just created on my desktop. So browse, desktop, and I'm going to just left click once on Techno Parrot folder, select folder, and I'm now going to go for full install. 
And as we can see in the background, that's now creating lots of different files and zip folders, which is good. And Techno Parrot has downloaded successfully. So the next thing you're going to see is it's your first time running Techno Parrot uh, user interface. Please set emulation settings. So we're going to press OK. Now, at this point, under information, you have no game setup. You want to add one now. So to test this for this setup guide, I've got a game on my desktop. And what I'm going to do is actually create a new folder in that Techno Parrot folder. Go to New. And I'm going to just call this one Games. And I'm going to drag this Techno Parrot game inside of the Games folder I've just created. And just for reference, your game layout should look like this, so there's likely going to be a few, maybe a couple of folders, but the one we're looking for is the exe, and this is the executable which we're going to open up through the Techno Parrot emulator. So, you have no game set up, do you want to add one now? Just press yes. What I do recommend doing before we start adding games is every now and again you're going to need to update this. There's always going to be updates for Techno Parrot, which is one of the reasons I'm doing this today. To update it, just go to the horizontal lines at the top and you just go down to install updates. And as we can see, we've already got updates available for this, which I've just downloaded. So go to update and just let that do a thing. And it's always important to update Techno Power Up because there's always breakthroughs on previous games which didn't work, which might now work. So update has now been complete. Still saying you have no game set up, do you want to add one? So we're going to press yes. So to add game, what I'm going to do is just select the game I've got, which is Arcana Heart 3. Just left click on that and then just simply go to add game. So once we're here, we're going to go down to game settings, just left click on that one. And if we click at the top where it says game executable, just left click in that space. And from here, we're going to again locate that Techno Parrot folder, which is on desktop. Techno Parrot, my games folder is here. My game folder for Arcana Heart 3 is here. And the one I'm going to select, like I said just now, is the .exe. So game.exe, just left click on that one, press open. And the next part of this you might need to configure is the general input API. So this is for your controller settings. Uh, direct input for me seems to work fine, but if you have issues with particular games, then just switch this API to X input. I'm then going to just go down to save settings, successfully saved Arcana. Okay, so we need to set up the controls now for this particular game. So we're going to just go down to controller setup. And there's many different buttons you're going to need to configure with your controller. So a few of the very important ones for Techno Parrot is your test button, service one button and the coin buttons. So I'm using a Google Stadia and I'm just going to left click on each blank field and just tap in one of the buttons on my controller. So just take your time doing this part. Uh, for player one, up, down, left and right, I'm gonna just use my D-pad. And we're going to go to save settings. So with your controller settings put in place and everything else to launch the game, we're just going to go to launch game. And this terminal opening up is fine. It's saying everything's well. For now, we're just going to see if this is responding. Well, as we can see, that's working really well, but we can actually open up our Techno Power games in full screen mode. And to do this, if we just go down the game settings, you'll see that under general, windowed, this is checked. If we uncheck this, save settings, and launch the game again.
And if I press escape, that's going to take us back into the Techno Parrot UI. So I'm going to go through this setup process with you one last time. So we're going to close this down again. And are you sure? And what I'm going to do this time is add another game. So I'm going to go to Techno Parrot again. And the game I'm going to be using for this is going to be qualified as an almost perfect game. So. We're going to just add that game back to the games folder and I'm going to quickly go through this setup process again. So we're going to open up Techno Parrot UI. And this is a part where it checks for updates, but as we know, I've just updated it. And what we're going to do then is to add a game, is just go up to those horizontal lines, add game. Now, the game I'm going to be using this time is Battle Gear 4. So if I highlight that one and then go to add game, I'm then gonna to go to game settings. And in here, we also need to link it to the game executable, just like we did with Arcana Hearts. So we're gonna go back into that Techno Parrot folder, into the games folder, Battle Gear 4, game.exe, open. Now this one is saying that but it's individually going to open up as a windowed mode. So we need to uncheck this one if you want full screen that is. And under direct API, the same situation as before. So if your controller doesn't work, switch it over to X input and then configure your controller. And we're gonna to go to save settings and controller setup because we also need to set up a controller for this one. So test. and save settings and this time we're going to go to launch game and firewall is blocks and features of the game so if you get this just press on allow and let's just go back to open the game up So as we can see, everything's working fine. And for racing games, uh, if I get any questions asking if I can set a controller up, the answer is I really have no idea. I don't actually own a controller for Windows PC. So that's it for today's setup guide. I hope I got you sorted out running Techno Parrot games on your PC. So if you've not already hit notifications, be sure to hit it. And also subscribe to the channel and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content that I cover almost every day these days on my channel. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.